Hello everybody. Welcome to Crafty Floridian's Crafty Room. Right? I know. I know what you're all saying. I have been I have been called stupid. I have been called an idiot and a few other names. I'm not stupid and I'm not an idiot. I choose. I make choices in my life. And my choice is to stay at home while I hunker down for this hurricane. I know they're saying I am about, I would say, 14, 15 miles from the Gulf. 14, maybe 10, 10, 14, 12, something like that. Inglewood is the closest beach to me. I do have the Mayaka River running behind. It's a small branch, but it branches out three different ways. And they have assured us that um, we shouldn't have too many problems there. But um, it hasn't, it hasn't, today's been a nice day, just kind of cloudy, a little bit of wind. And um, I guess tomorrow is when things are start jumping, baby, jumping. Uh, I'm in a three-story uh, building. I'm on the first floor. And then I have the second and the third floor. I have a friend, Lee, who lives on the third floor and uh, chatted with him this morning. And he said that um, I could come up there if we, if I start getting a little water in my place, you know, if that's, like I said it's going to be. Then I'll go up to the third floor. I've got Abby's um, carrying case in the bedroom ready. Uh, I've got my important two papers, my birth certificate, and the title to my car, and let's see, my social security card. That's all I got. So I'm going to put that in a plastic. I got the end. Also, my little book on all of my. Um, passwords and stuff. I thought I'd come on and do this video. I have some mail. I have some blankets to show you because it might be a while before I do another video in case electricity goes out. Uh, they have improved the electrical stuff, but you, you never know. So um, please don't worry about me because knowing that you're upset or that you're worrying about me upsets me even more. And I don't I really, I really don't want that for you, and I don't need it for myself. Um, I'm trying to keep my blood pressure down, and when I think about how you're worrying about me, it makes it go up. So I can't get it down the last couple of days, and I, you know, have worried about the the retreat that's going on at Lido Beach on the 19th. That's not going to happen. Um, so I'm waiting, waiting to communicate with the realtors once they're out on siesta. So they are, you know, incognito. But since we got electricity, it has been blinking a little bit today. But who knows what that's from. But please don't worry about me. I will um, do the appropriate thing at the appropriate time. Um, that's the most I can say, um, to get, to get out into this traffic. I, I just can't do that. Um, I just can't, I just don't have the energy, the patience and my body won't take it. And to go to a, um, high school or one of these, uh, places that they say to go to, you know, um, there's no way. I can't sleep on the floor. I mean, I can't even get on the floor. And um, it would be extremely uncomfortable. I know you're saying, well, it's better to have you alive, you know, and on the cold floor hurting than it is. No, no, no. We'll take care of it. Abby and I had an exec made an executive decision yesterday. We had a conference call, her and I, or a conference meeting. And we discussed it, and she said she'd like to stay at home. 
because she has all the convenience and this she's the boss here so this is her domain so I agreed with her you know it is so today I've been um, picking up things off the floors and right here I've got my as you can see here my baskets with my squares in it and I have another basket in there full of squares so up everything is up off the floor um, now when I finish this video I will be moving my sewing machine everything away from this window I have my beach towels ready to put in the windows to catch the um, water and that's you know I've got water I've got food in fact I just boiled some eggs which I'm going to put in the refrigerator because that's a good protein to have uh, where you don't have you know get it pre-cooked so I made that and I got water the freezer the freezers I mean the refrigerator is full of um, water and stuff like that and I might do some more pre-cooking I haven't decided yet but I've got tuna fish and I've got um, in the can I got chicken in the can um, you know that kind of stuff so I'm, I'm good I'm good I got yogurt but you know if electricity goes off the it does stay cold and I'll go to the refrigerator first for stuff so wait I'm good um, we're hanging in there um, it just I don't want you all to worry because that makes me upset and I don't need to be upset okay I'm gonna take my blood pressure it's been high had a talk with my doctor on Monday um, and she gave me some uh, additional medication to help with my um, my arthritis and um, and it's working I feel a lot better I'm not my hands aren't throbbing so bad at night so that's good um, okay so that's the end of it I made my choice that's what life is about I make my choices and that was my choice so I'm good and um, and I, I want you all to accept my my decision so thank you very much for your concern I really appreciate I I really appreciate all the um, offers to come and stay with you uh, you know and stuff like that I might need you afterwards I mean am I gonna it does it flood and do I need a place to live afterwards yeah I might need your help so uh, we're just going to take it one hour at a time and see how it goes been through a lot of these days. I know I know I know but they say this is really bad and the others were really bad too so we'll just take it one hour at a time okay so let me show you the blankets. I've got mail, but first let me show you the blankets I made this week. I made a Christmas one, and this is the one with all of the, um, ooh, that red, ooh, that red is, let's see if I can get this a little better. How's that? That's better, isn't it? Okay. So this is a Christmas one, and I just, picked out all those um let's see oh here's the the candy and then I did all those uh red white the red and white ones so it's just red green white and oh I've got a heart a green heart let me turn that around well, that that didn't help it either did it okay so anyway so that's green and then there's the candy and this is the the red and white and there's the green and then the, there's a green heart right there whoops whoops I get mixed up on my there we go there we go okay so I did this uh, um, I just did two half double crochets every other stitch or whatever uh, as a border because it was so busy and it's nice and cozy so I got that one done and I think I'm just going to put that right in that basket 
And then I did my first spring one, spring colored one. And it's all done in this salmons and blues and teals and yellow. See the green, bright green. We have a green and a round one. And then I put the butterfly. Where's my butterfly? There. So I put a butterfly up there. Isn't that cute? So this is just, I did um, half double crochet around. And then I went through and did half double crochet in every two, skip two. So it's like a little window type. It's just very simple. Just very simple. So yeah, this is uh, my first spring one. Spring colored. Nice and colorful. And then this one, I was so impressed by the lady that made these that I decided to make a quilt of these. And I did three, six. Did I do six or nine? Nine I did four squares with nine, nine squares in each square. Nine squares in each square. Okay. So I did the greens and the reds and the greens. And then I did this square. And in the middle... This is a felt flower that was given to me by Lynette in a little package that she sent me. And I took off the little beads because I didn't want to hurt the kids. But it's just felt. And so I did a little, I sewed it in the middle of all four of the, of the squares. I'll just hold it up if you want to see. So it's like six six squares across and six down. Isn't that pretty though? She did such a beautiful job. I just, I wanted it all to be in one blanket. So thank you very much. I enjoyed doing this one. So as you can see, I, I put together this one with yellow and I put this together with the, um, the variegated Christmas and then I did the gold here, and then I did the green here, and then the border is, I went, a, I went around with the uh, lime green, and then I took the, the variegated for the little pico, or the little back claw thing I do, not claw, but whatever that is, it's half double crochet, well, hard to explain but I like doing that stitch <laughs> so this turned out to be a nice blanket I enjoyed doing that and this I someone had sent me some fall colors so I decided to do a fall blanket and I'm I haven't finished this yet I just thought I'd show it to you it's fall colors and it has the burgundies and the browns and all that and has a pumpkin in the middle so I searched through my stash and got um, nice fall colors out. And this this was this was the the cabinet. This was the palette that I tried to work with, and it because it has gold and it has like a sage green and orange, you know, and the in the um, burgundy color in it. So, as you can see, I put all the colors in in here. So now, um, I'm almost out of burgundy. So what I'm going to do is probably, I've got like a burnt orange. So I think I'll um, go around it and make a, a wide border around it with the burnt orange. So this is to be, to be continued. So that's four. Four more... So I got a lot to show next time they do the opening. I'm sure they won't do it tomorrow because that's when the uh, Mr. Milton is due for a visit. 
Now I got some mail. Let's look at these squares so that I can I have um, one on the this one and then I have one on the board. Um, that's I have a lot of red and a lot of white. So I, I and then um, I think it was Dory from um, Dory did it. She sent me some. I think it was her. I can't remember some red hearts. So I said, well, I'm going to make a Valentine one. So I got white and red, and I put red hearts. I sewed red hearts on the white one. So we have like a Valentine blanket. Isn't that cute? So I'm just making it up as I go. You know what I mean? Okay, let me put this over here. Over here. Don't fall, please. Okay, let's go through the mail. And that way. Okay, this box is from Pat Lockhart, and she's from Michigan. Because these boxes, I just get so many of them. All righty. I got, it looks like she's got some yarn and stuff. Oops, I got kind of bent. Life is more beautiful because you are in it. Oh, that's so sweet. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Mm. Here, he, here's to your 100 blankets. Love watching you and your stories. Hugs, Pat from Michigan. Well, thank you, Pat. And I got a, I've got a paper bag here that I stick all the cards in, and I'm gonna give them to Nancy to send to, um, to the, the camp. So she sent me some Mary Maxim Starlet sparkle and this looks like gold. Let me put a, a piece of tape on this so it won't come off. There we go. And yeah, so we've got sparkle gold and another sparkle gold. Thank you. And she sent some sparkle glimmer um, orange. Orange. Hey. Maybe I'll use this to go around my blanket. <laughs> Perfect. All right. All right. Let's get, let's cool that. Let's cool it. Okay. She sent four gold ones. These gold ones. And we have a set of white and red. White and red. Very nice. Nicely made, too. Very nice. And then we've got three reds. This is like an orangey red. And then we have uh, four sparkly greens. And then we have some orange and, orange and green. Orange and green. I know that orange looks almost like pink, doesn't it? And some more orangey green. And three beautiful yellow colors. I love yellow. I can put that as a spring blanket. And then, well, this is nice because I was looking to make a blanket with black because I've got a lot of black. Um, but she made this in, okay, this is one. And then... This one. And oh, well, that will go better with this. Yeah. And then she made that pattern and that pattern. And then this pattern. So we have a stack of those to go with this. So we'll see what else we can put with it. But very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I love those. I love those. And sometimes I'm, I'm you know, kind of breaking the uh, sparkly away from the plain color ones. You know, maybe having all sparkly blankets. Okay. Now, this. Now, Dory from Dory Made Me Do It started a campaign. She is giving away a pillow that she made, a neck pillow, back pillow, whatever you want to use it for. I have 
the back and the neck pillow. The neck pillow is in my chair and it stays with me all the time. I take a nap in my chair, I put my neck pillow on, and that has really helped my neck. So, um, yeah, I don't know what I'd do without it. Now, the back pillow that she gave me, I kind of use that between my legs when I take a nap on the couch. Or sometimes I'll use it to, um, to sleep on when I take a nap. So, anyway, she challenged people to make, I think it's five or to make maybe one or two squares and send them to me. And she's going to put her put your name in a hopper and uh, pick a, a, a giveaway that she's made and other gifts to go along with the, the bow. And it says, Billy, it is all 100% acrylic. The shapes, too. Nothing blocked, non-smoking, no pets home. Hope these work. Thank you for all your effort. Um, Why I see, you know, these, I don't know what a lot of these uh, numbers, anyway, Chris Kaleidoscope, uh, Dory made me do it. So Dory, put this in for um, Chris, oh, here it is, Christina Lovall from Decatur, Illinois. Put her name down. And she sent some I'll keep this I'll keep this for Dory. She says I don't have to, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. And what I'll do is add your little ticket, I mean your little thing to this. What it looks like she knitted. We not we didn't tie in our ends. Na 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 Looks like, is this a knit or is it, is it knit or is it Tunisian? I can't tell because I don't know. But she did that with pretty colors. And this one. These are blues and greens and this little one. And this green one. And another one of this. And then she sent these, what are, what are these? These are... Um, the shapes. Oh, she sent, looks like a star. It's a star, green star. Look at that. You'd have to, I don't have enough fingers to do, do the whole star. There's a star. And here's a smaller star. Cool beans. And then there's these, I think, I'm not really sure, but here's these little shapes here. She she got uh we got some pink ones and blue. And blue. Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So all I want to do is take your little sticker off here. Whoops. Almost blew that. And put it here with your your um, little note. Oops. There we go. Almost lost you. Okay, that's for Dory. All right, in the trash. Our next pack. This one I got today, and it's from Mel from California. Woo! Looks like Christmas. Jingle bell, jingle bell. It is Christmas. And I've got these in there to do another blanket with. In fact, we've got, let's see. There we go. We've got some more with that. And then we have red and white. Red, white, and green. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Loves it, loves it, loves it. Oh, I like this one too. Look, I like that. And this one, pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, Chris! Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got some Christmas going on here. 
Yep. Okay, next pack. Now this is from my three ladies. Oops, wait a minute. Ah, oh, here we go. How much ripped Billy off? Dear Billy, hello and greetings from Ohio. I'm sending our September contributions to you for Boggy Creek. Drew, Karen, and I appreciate all you do. We enjoy helping out just a bit. Stay well and keep being you. Emily, Drew, and Karen. Thank you so much. The girls. I got the girls. Thank you so much. Now, this is from Emily. It looks like she's done some spraying. Some spraying, spraying. Look at this. Pink and purple. Look at all the spring colors. Yellow and blue. Pink and yellow. Another pink and yellow. Blue and green. I like blue and green. I know it's looking purple, but it's blue. Just like that one's blue. And blue. In fact, when I was looking through my stash last night, I thought, now I'm going to have to do put my blues together and make a nice, pretty blue spring blanket. And here's a couple more blue from Emily. And we got three whites. And we have orange and yellow. Very pretty. Thank you so much, Emily. And now we have Karen. And hers is Christmas and spring. Sorry for the crunching. Here we go. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. All right. These look, oh, look at this. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Green. Isn't that pretty? I love that. That's very pretty. Love the way you made that. Isn't that pretty, guys? Look over here. And now we have, ooh, I like that, too. I mean, you have to, yeah, oh, is that the right side? I can't tell. I think that's the right side. Then we have two of these. And we have, remember, we got, did we get some? Is that the same? Yep, that's the same one. We have enough to do a whole blanket with these. And then with the circle in the middle. And it's white. And then three more of those. Yes, 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 yes. See, we got these. Are they the same? Well, they're close enough, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put all these together. Well, dang gone. Look at that. Almost a whole blanket. I, you know, I think I've got you all. I'm cutting you off, aren't I? I'm sorry. And here's Drew's. Okay, Drew. Let's see what she did this time. She did two purples. Look at that. Very nice, Drew. And then you did. she did a blue and a gray. And that will go in with the blues that I was talking about earlier. And then here's like a sage army green one. Very nice. Thank you, Drew, so much. You girls are doing a great job. Okay. Then I have this box. Okay. Okay, let's take out a little bit of time here. Looks like we, let me get the card first. I love this yarn and Hershner's. Oh, okay. I get this card. Eh. I'm ripping it. Okay, here we go. With thanks. Look at the little hummingbird. Cute. 
with thanks. Billy, thank you for everything you do for Boggy Creek. The blankets you create from these squares are so beautiful. I hope the squares I am sending will work. I love R-A and O-A in my hands. So, oh, the arthritis, yeah. So my tension is all over the place. Yeah, I got you, girlfriend. I got you on that one. Hope the extra yarn will help with the borders. Oh, thank you. I really enjoy your channel. I have been doing all kinds of crafts since I was a teenager, me too. And since I can't do any of them anymore, I enjoy seeing what other people like you are making. I'm 84 with bad hands. Keep up the good work, Mary. Oh, Mary, I know how you feel, honey. My days are just about numbered. Um, the arthritis is so bad in, you know, in these index fingers. You can see the lump right there. The lumps. Yeah, it's um, it's something. I don't know. I don't like getting old. And you're just a couple, three, four years older than I am. At least we'll, we'll keep trying, right? Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, these are beautiful. Wow. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? It's, it's like a flower. See, it's like a 3D flower sticking up there. Isn't that pretty? And look at this one. This one's the green. And it's the wreath. And it's, it's all, you know, it's all connected beautiful and then here's a red and white one and then she did these and this one and then a couple of granny square and then I love the this this in fact I did a whole blanket almost with just these you saw it the one with the with the panels the four panels but yeah, I love I love the look of this for a blanket, and it, it's um I don't know there's something about it that I like. <laughs> God only knows what, right? Okay, so that goes for the Christmas. We got more Christmas. Oh, Get that. We've got four, five of these. They look like candy, right? <laughs> Hmm, good, goody, goody. And then we have, this matches all that other stuff. Oh, my gosh, see? Yeah, let's see. I want to put these together. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. See, it matches this, this other stuff. It's just, this is great. Gosh. And we got... Couple reds, some reds. Oh my gosh, we got we got a Christmas one right here. This is so great. And then we have five beautiful white ones. Ooh, look at these. These are very festive. Look at this. There's three of those pretty green. It almost looks like a little poinsettia, doesn't it? And then, and then these. Wow. Oh, these are gorgeous. I'm going to save this bag because I could put my my birth certificate in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, let's see. We've got two more. Yes, we do. And it matches all the others that we have right here. Isn't this something? And I have more of these, too. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> look at this. And look at this. It's the same. Well, the, the green is a little lighter on this one, but they're the same. They are the same. And we have these two, and we have a red one and a green one. Sorry, 
about my lighting. It must be, well, I was too busy today getting things organized. And she sent some, oh, look at this. This is Worsted Hirschner's Worsted 8. This is that red and white. Isn't that nice? I don't know, it's color number, it's just called red and white. It's a Hershner's MVP. That's pretty, I like that. That's a nice border. And then she sent me some red. I love this yarn, red, green, and white. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I think that's, I think that's it. Let me just take a look here. I think that's it. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough to keep me busy doing the storm. Which I don't want you to worry about. Do you hear me? I mean it. I mean it. So I'm not gonna keep I'm not gonna keep you all so that I can <clears throat> can get this going and I got a few more things to do that I want to do before. <clears throat> before I go to bed tonight and uh, things I need to pick up. I've almost got my floor completely cleared in case the water. Now, I do have a problem with water intrusion in this in this um, window here, and I have my beach towels. I have towels up there now from when it rained the other day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, yeah. And if you want to get in on Dory, um, Dory's um, little giveaway and on her squares and stuff, just go to her channel, Dory, Dory Did It. That's the name of her channel, Dory Did It. Dory Did It. And I think it's something like you've got to say, Dory Made Me Do It. I think that's what you have to put on it. But anyway, it's a challenge that she's put out. And um, and you and she's given she does nice giveaways so I think you'll you enjoy it. I have not done anything with the um, um, the cotton um, the 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 washcloth uh, challenge with Laura from Mad Mimi's um, and I'll be honest with you the reason I haven't is because my cotton is in a tote in the bathroom on the bottom of a bunch of other totes and i just haven't felt like digging digging that tote out to be honest with you but i will and i'll spend a day just getting caught up on all that i can do it i know i can i don't want her to get mad at me you know yell at me and stuff i don't want that but um i did see um a hooker versus hooker and, you know, I, uh, me and my uh, partner, I forgot what her, her name was, and Chris, I think. But anyway, we, it wasn't Chris. That was Chris. I can't remember her name. Terrible, Billy, terrible. But anyway, we picked um, colors and the square, uh, scarecrow as the challenge. And um, they were so cute. They get and Laura did terrible. She has no imagination. She makes this flat little square crow. It, it, it was just I don't know what we're gonna do with her. She just she, she just didn't have it. She wasn't into it, I guess. She didn't like the idea that so she wasn't gonna make anything. That's what she was. I know Laura, but anyway, it was great. Uh, the other ladies uh, did a great job. And uh, I, you know, a scarecrow is is to scare to scare the crows and stuff that come in the field. So um, yeah, they were great. They were great. Okay, I can't think of anything. It just don't worry, we'll be fine. Um, I want to get these together because I have I I see a few blankets right here in my in my future. So I can't make a hundred if I don't have the yarn. But then I have a lot of green and I have a lot of purple. So um, I have a feeling that um, 
I'm at a point now where I'm going to have to put solid colors together. So if you want to make me some appliques, that would be fun. But I'm going to, uh, boy, I've got a lot of Christmas. I think Christmas should be next, after the Valentine one. After the Valentine one. I might have to steal, no, I don't have to steal anything from here. But it's going to be fun. So much fun. I love it. I just love it. I love organizing the blanket. And then seeing what it looks like once I get it. You know, it's like a color palette. It's like a painting. You said, you know, you sort of got your colors. And once you got your colors, then you go to your board and you sort of start sketching your, your, what you want to paint or what you want to do, whatever. So, and I'm still got, I got the hodgepodge. I don't know if it was up here somewhere. I got my hodgepodge. I found some Christmas, uh, fabric that I had I you know I I had a whole a whole thing full of um, scraps that got wet when the gentleman upstairs flooded my bathroom in here and I had to throw them all away so um, but I do have some scraps but we'll do we'll do a couple I'll show you a couple you know one with a diff, with different themes and we'll use fabric for the themes and we'll we'll I'll show you how it's done. So I've got some ideas. So we'll we'll have a little crafty show one day. <laughs> After the storm. After the little storm that's coming through. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you go. I want to get my sewing machine moved over. I'm not sewing tonight. I just want to get things a little, a little put away. Put away. So I'm going to bid you all a good night. Uh, don't worry about me. I will be fine. I will make decisions as they go along. I think I'm going to be okay here at home. And we'll just um, wait and see how things go. Um, but don't worry about me. I'll keep keep you posted if 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 I may, if I have Wi-Fi. That's why I wanted to do this so I could get it downloaded every and on. But I do have Verizon, and as long as I have this I could communicate and let you know what's going on. All right. I haven't had any alarms lately. They've been alarming us. Uh they shut down the elevator today at five. And um but they are not going to shut off the water or the power or anything like that. But I am going to move all my stuff from here. My computer and my sewing machine and stuff. Uh, always something fun, huh? Always something. Okay, everybody, take care. Have a great weekend, a great week and a great weekend, because I am, and have no worries. We will be fine. Abby and I will be fine. Thank you so much, everybody, for your concern. I really appreciate it. Um I know I keep saying I'll be fine. Well, I will be fine. God only knows. If I'm not, then I'm not. You know, we just deal with it. It's part of the process. Mm -hmm. I love all of you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the beautiful squares so that I'm able to make these blankets for the kids. Um, I think next time Nancy has the... Um, has the opening on her channel. Um, I think she's going to invite me to come on and show you the ones that I ha that you've seen off and on over. I, so I've got, you know, I have four, plus I have four or five in there. So I have close to 10 or so. So we're getting close to the hundred. Um, oh, I had a, I had it written down somewhere. I did, I did. But God only knows which book I put it in. <laughs> can't remember. I know I was at 59 or something. Is that where I was? It's not in this book. It must be in this one. Oh, come on, guys. Do you remember where I was? Huh. 
Oh, I was at 59. Yes, sir, Bob. Yeah, because I had 39, 15, and 5 makes 59. So I am 41, and I have a good 10 here. <laughs> Make 69. <laughs> I'm on the way. I'm on the way, guys. I'm on the way. I'll meet my goal of 100. Maybe I'll surpass it. That would be nice. Okay, everyone. I'm going to say good night. Don't worry. We've got we got it covered. Toodles. <laughs>